Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Draw. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a business process management and notation diagram using Draw tools. So on the screen, I've got a blank page and I'm in Draw. What I need to open up is on the right hand side there, you've got a little pane where I can click on that and it will show these tools. One of these galleries is the one I want, that one there. BPMN, that's the abbreviation for it, and then you get all these sort of diagram shapes that you can utilize. And if I make this a bit wider so you can see them, so at the top there you've got start, intermediate, and end. So I want to use the start shape first of all. So I'm just going to drag that onto the screen, put it into a position where I want. So there's my start. And then I'm going to do a few processes. So we've got things here transaction call activity etc subtask I'm just going to use this one in fact I'll use this one just as plain task I'll just bring that on now move that over I'll do a couple of tasks now you can either drag another one on or you can just copy this with your control key so I'll do that I've got my control key down I'll just slide that over a little bit so I've got two so in fact I want three I want three for this little example so I'll do another one now I want a sort of gateway tool this symbol is called a gateway so I'll just drag that into position where I want it there move it down a little bit and then up the top there I want another task I'll just push that in there and then using my control key again to to make that duplicated down the bottom there so I've got it sort of where I want it I can just reposition it a little bit like that and then the last thing I want on there is two little ends almost running out of paper but get these lined up and then what I need to do now is basically type in each of these um, so I'll just go for this one check stock that can be that one and then this one is going to be order stock like that and then fill order order and then we've got some options here so what I need to do is do a couple of lines but then let's just put some more text in this one so let's go for Friday schedule and then this one can go Tuesday delivery like so and then these two are just going to be ends like so That's probably a little bit too big for that but we can change the font size later on so end and end like that and this one over on the left is just going to have start in it so what I might do on this one is just insert a text box just just under under there so it's not actually making it look a bit too big so just draw a little text box underneath that and put the word start in there I could probably do that with the other one as well so I'll just put start like that and make it a little bit bigger like so you can just position that underneath that now what I need to do is create some lines now, there, aren't no any, there aren't any lines in this bit that I want to use. There are arrows in the gallery there, but none of these are really relevant either. So I've finished with this now, so I can just knock this off. Click on that little arrow and it'll collapse out of the way. And then coming over onto the left-hand side, these tools, connectors, is what I want to use. And there's a connector arrow, and I'm going to use this one. So basically, as soon as you hover over a shape, it will it will highlight it and then you can connect it to to the other shape now if I move that that line should stay with it so if I just move that up you see that stays with it now it's important that you use that one as opposed to what you can see a bit further up if I go for that one and then you notice when I hover over this nothing's happening and if I well I'll do it on these two so you can see the difference if I go across now it looks for all intents and purposes okay but if I move that, it leaves that behind. It's not actually been a, 
um, acting as a connector at all so I'm going to get rid of that and then move that one down and then use the, the one I said before you've got other ones in there if you open that up you can see the other ones in there this is the one I'm using so I'll click on that and use that one again hover over the shape now I've knocked this out of sync so I'll need to move these up to get it to be horizontal click on that again same thing hover over the shape go to another connecting area and then move the shape to so it's horizontal so these are all going to be out of sync now I've moved them a bit so I'll click on it and then just pull that over that's okay move it up a little bit to make it horizontal that's it and then I want one going up from the top of there to the bottom of that and then another one coming down from there to that one and then I have to position the shape so it lines up and then I want one coming from there to the end and again I need to move the end down and then from there for that one so it snaps into position and then move that down lines it up so that's how I want it and I could do another text box like I've done for this one so it doesn't look stupid like that does but I'll just leave that for now and what I need to do is put a title on there so if I go back to the top there you can just put your title spell that right let's make that a bit wider so it all fits on one line and there you go there's your little diagram using those tools from this pane on the right hand side so that's all I want to show you in this little video, how you can create a business process management and notation diagram using the preset features that you have in your galleries on the right hand side of the screen. So hopefully this video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.